Hi guys, Dominic here. We're just going to go through our four essential core exercises. These form the foundation of any of the core work that we program, and you really need to make sure you've mastered these. So start off with just finding the right pelvic position. So we don't want our backs too arched. We want the pelvis tucked under. This is our normal plank. Okay, so once you've mastered that, again, get into a good pelvic position. And what we really want you to be in is a toes pointed plank. So notice the way my toes are pointed backwards, my pelvis stays tucked under. Then any and all variations of this position are really an extension then of just maintaining that midline stability and maintaining that pelvic tuck. And anything I do around that is really an extension of that. So the toes pointed really takes the shoulders out of it and really forces you to use that core an awful lot more. Okay, exercise number two. Um, is a hollow hold. So we're going to start lying on our back and then I extend my arms up behind my head. I sit up a little bit and start with the knees in against my chest. Then I point the toes up towards the ceiling. Point your toes, point your toes, point your toes. I lower the legs as low as I can go without any arch in my back. Now you see there, when my back is arched, we don't want that. The legs must lift back up. If it becomes too difficult, just bend one knee in against your chest or bend both knees in against your chest. The goal is to get your legs almost... Uh, about 6 to 12 inches off the floor with no gap in the lower part of the back. So that would constitute kind of a pass on that exercise. From there, we go into a side plank. So remember, we can start with the easiest version first, which is just knees bent, straight body, lift up. And again, we can do lots of variations and any of the variations I go on to show can also be done on the knees. If you can go from there, then we go up into normal plank. And again, you just a bunch of variations, hip dips, and then thread the needle like this or um, hand up by your temple and then elbow to floor. There's loads of variations of the side plank, but essentially you need to be able to side plank. And the side plank is really a lot to do about making sure you're squeezing um, the lower body um, as much as using the, uh, the, the core and the sides. Pal off press, you need a band, just thread it around your foot. We can do circles, we can punch it in and out, we can chop, you can do it in a kneeling position like that. You can do it in a standing position. If it's easy, just move your hands down the band. See the way I'm showing you? Move the hands down a little bit to make it a little bit harder. Punch in and out. If the band is flopping around a bit like that, just wrap it up into your hand. And again, you've got lots of variations on that particular movement. That's called a pal off press. So there you have your top four. You've got your hollow hold, you've got your toes pointed plank, your side plank, and your pal off press. Hope you enjoy, guys, and keep working on them.